How you doing guys? We've come to a little place called Norwich. So this is our Airbnb where we'll be staying the next couple of days. Little bedroom in there. It's really, really cool. It's like a chapel, I think. It's like an old chapel. Everything's like really low. Keep whacking my head. Living room. We've got this cool view. Come to this vegetarian restaurant called Wild Time. Looks really cool. Check out this vegan bourguignon. Mushroom bourguignon. Grub was good. Update your what? Vlog. What are you doing, man? Oh, I didn't know that. Whoa, brightness. Your exposure is really high. Yeah, food was wicked. Really nice. This electric bike out. It says it's electric. It's like folding, folding electric bike. This is when you know that the electric bike revolution is here. Look at all these electric bikes they've got. Loads of them. This is quite interesting. It's not cheap though. Just found some pretty cool lamps in this in this shop here. Checking on this one. Cool for the desk, I think. We're now in this little Caribbean bar. I've got a ginger shandy. Sarah's got a couple of cocktails as well. Find our way back to the Airbnb. It's the next morning now, slept pretty well. But we're gonna go and get some breakfast and check out like a shopping, there's like a shopping centre. I think they've got an Apple store as well. It's quite a nice morning though today. It's like really, really fresh. I've just opened one of the windows up. It's like roof windows, I can't resist it. It's a pretty cool building though. See a bit of ice on there. So that's the plan. As far as Airbnbs go, this is actually a pretty good one. Cause it probably costs like the same as like a traveling or something like that and you just get like a whole flat to yourself kitchen it's got a nice bathroom as well it's on our way to breakfast well, what's this little village called uh, is it Trous? Trous. yeah we're just coming trues Um, it's all right, it wasn't great, but yeah, filled a hole. It's pretty cool, it's the first time I've actually used that. Pretty neat, it's like proper 3D. Like, VR is so that was pretty interesting. I've always been a bit of a kind of Apple freak because I've never really kind of looked into the like the Samsung stuff, but yeah, it was cool. It's cool to see a Samsung shop. It's like I was just saying to the, the guy in there that you know if you if you're into Apple stuff, you can just walk into an Apple store and just you know browse and play around with everything. But 
that's probably one of the first times I've actually come across like an actual Samsung shop with everything in there um, on display. So, and he was saying there's like 15 in the country, so that's pretty, pretty interesting. I'll have to look into this Galaxy S7 and S8 because um, it just looks really cool with the 360 camera and um, like the VR headset. Yeah, it looks wicked. Pretty cool, yours my mobile. I don't know if anyone's seen this in practice, but makes like super steady cam shots just by using your phone as the camera. This is like wish list goals right here. Hero 5 as well. Just want to try something. I need to try something. I'm quite intrigued by these new LG screens because Apple have stopped making their Thunderbolt displays. That's not Thunderbolt display, it's an iMac, but they've stopped making displays and they've started doing these LG screens, which they've apparently designed with LG. So I just want to see if I can plug my MacBook in and see if it works. Unfortunately, I can't. These are USB-C monitors, but they've just they've got some sort of Thunderbolt cable in the back of that. I was hoping to just plug it into the side of my MacBook and see if it worked. I don't think the 5K one does. I think the 4K one works with it. All right, just walking back to the car now. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with Apple. Things have kind of changed quite a bit, I think. Like, they used to obviously make displays themselves. Like, now they've kind of, you know, put in an LG model. It's a bit different to where we come from. <laughs> Completely lost where the car is. So it was sitting in the car, because I wanted to get to the toilet. <laughs> She's like doing the horn to show me where the car is. Back at home now, my hair is absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh my God, this is what happens when you wear a hat all day, every day. Uh, I need, really need to get this cut sorted out. Yeah, so it's quite a good couple of days, really. Um, well, it was like one night, two days, just Norwich, checking it out, seeing what it's all about. It's not actually that far away from here. Norwich is only like a couple of hours away from here. It's quite slow like to start off because you've got to go through quite, you know, single lane roads and stuff like that. But then, then you hit a dual carriageway, and it's just like straight in. So yeah, it's, it takes longer than it should do really um, for the distance, but yeah, it was pretty cool just checking it out, seeing what was going on. And um, yeah, it's quite a lot of um, like vegetarian and vegan places. So like Sarah was really sort of interested in doing that and um, doing a blog post. So anyway, I need to go through the footage and find out what I've actually got. I feel like there's quite a bit, but I'm not really sure exactly kind of, you know, what it's gonna be like when it's all together. But anyway, I hope everyone's good. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon. Ah uh, yeah, almost forgot. Um, I don't know how many of you guys use Twitter, but um, yeah, follow me up if you're on there. Um, at Andrew John Kirby, I'll put the thing down, down there. Uh, but yeah, follow me up, and you know, just if you're interested in sort of following what I'm doing and all that sort of stuff. Anyway, I'm going definitely this time. Catch you later.